our last speaker, Melanie McCaver, Concordia University. Good afternoon to members of the Council, members of the public, forum representatives and speakers. My name is Melanie McCaver. I'm a member of the part-time faculty of Arts and Science at Concordia University, a doctoral candidate at the Université de Québec à Montréal, and I'm working with several pollinator protection organizations, including the NSERC-funded Canadian Pollination Initiative, CanPollen, and the North American Pollinator Protection Campaign, NAPSI. I would like to thank the Council for the opportunity to present this statement on the importance of trilateral action in protecting pollinator diversity and evaluating pollinator decline in North America. Pollination by insects, birds and bats is a crucial ecosystem service in agriculture, food and fiber security, environmental sustainability, international trade and conservation. Animal pollination is essential for production of 87 of the world's major crops and accounts for an estimated 250 billion in global annual agricultural production. These crops include most fruits and nuts, many vegetables, forage, oil seeds, fibers, coffee, cocoa, and tequila, also arguably an essential nutrition notwithstanding. Uh, as a result, Farmers and consumers alike strongly rely on pollinators. In addition, many ecosystems depend on pollinator diversity to maintain overall biological diversity. Therefore, pollinators are essential for diversity in diet and also for the maintenance of our North American natural resources. Unfortunately, this crucial ecosystem service is under ever greater stress. The documented decline in some pollinator species has many possible causes, such as disease, pesticide use, habitat loss and degradation, changing climate, monocultures, and the introduction of exotic species. These threats to pollinators cause concern for agricultural producers and for conservationists. In particular, the recent rise in parasites such as Varroa, the sudden appearance of colony collapse disorder, the increasing enlargement of agricultural fields, which reduces the capacity of wild pollinators to contribute, and the sophistication of broadcast pesticides make the future of this ecosystem service problematic. Trilateral protection under the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, could facilitate the maintenance of genetic diversity, integrated pest management, and resilience-based management of crop and animal production to reduce this tendency towards a decrease in pollinator services. Over the past few years, steps have been made to have pollinators and the crucial ecosystem services they provide recognized and protected under NAFTA, and to evaluate possible avenues for the inclusion of pollinator protection by the Commission on Environmental Cooperation, CEC. Following the 2009 roundtable on NAFTA food security and pollination held at the Canadian Embassy in Washington, D.C., several conclusions and goals were reached. These goals included the creation of a NAFTA pollination task force under NAPSI, the crafting of overarching considerations to be presented to the CEC and the NAFTA ministers for agriculture and trade, the selection of a representative to attend and participate in the open meetings of the CEC, and the exploration of possible participation with the CEC as a joint public advisory committee member, either within an existing committee or as a new committee, one specifically focused upon pollinator protection. This spring, the NAPSI NAFTA Task Force has written a proposal to the CEC requesting an assessment of the agricultural production, ecological and socioeconomic consequences of pollinator declines in North America. An assessment by the CEC of the dependence on, uh, of North America's economy and biodiversity on pollinators, the consequences of loss of this ecological service and recommendations for remediation if needed is a necessary first step to trilateral protection. To this end, we request that the CEC assess this dependence on pollinators and, if found to be important, develop best practices within the scope of NAFTA to improve the health, abundance and varieties of native pollinators and the biodiversity and sustainability of pollination processes in maintaining healthy ecosystems. The assessment and further work which may flow from it fit well into the three themes of the CEC strategic plan for 2010-2015. In conclusion, pollination is an important service to North American vegetable, fruit, beverage, and fiber production and essential to the survival of North American ecosystems. It is hoped that this statement today will help advance the critical need for such a study and subsequent trilateral protection. Thank you.